Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two flagship level smartphones from OnePlus. We have the newly launched OnePlus 15 and we also have uh, a compact flagship device launched by OnePlus recently, the OnePlus 13S. So these are two really flagship uh, uh, level hardware uh, available on both the devices and we have android 16 on both the phones we have oxygen os 16 on both the devices android uh, i mean uh, the oxygen os 16 comes out of the box on the uh, one plus uh, 15 while the update has been uh, rolled out on the one plus 13 s so both the devices have android 16 and oxygen os 16 now both have a really powerful hardware this is a snapdragon 8 uh, uh, gen 5 uh, uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 while this is Snapdragon 8 Elite and we have LPDDR 5X Ultimate RAM and UFS 4.1 storage while this has LPDDR 5X RAM and UFS 4.0. So that's the hardware. Let's uh, just go to the uh, settings. So you can see here both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Both are in airplane mode. Very similar settings and uh, we'll just clear off all the background apps. So there you go. We just cleared off all the background apps. So there you go. So let's start the speed test comparison of these two devices. So before that, let's just go to the about device on both the phones. Just uh, going to the about device, Oxygen OS 16 on both the phones, Snapdragon 8 Elite uh, 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 Gen 5 mobile platform, Snapdragon 8 Elite mobile platform. We have uh, uh, 5850 milliampere battery. This is 7300 milliampere battery. So that's the hardware. So let's just clear off the background apps once again. So there you go. So we just cleared off all the background apps. So let's start with Asphalt Unite. So let's see which opens Asphalt Unite faster. So 15 has taken the lead here. 15 has opened it faster. Next is uh, BGMI. So we are doing the test in the performance mode on both the devices. So once again, 15 has taken the lead here. In fact, a uh, few seconds faster, 15 uh, takes the lead on both the games. Next is uh, Play Store, almost same time. Chrome browser, again, almost same time. Facebook, again, I would say almost same time. Twitter, marginally 13S was faster. Instagram, uh, it was faster on the 13S. Spotify, Probably 15 was slightly faster. Amazon, again 13S was slightly faster. This was faster on 15. File Manager, exact same time. Settings again, exact same time. YouTube, uh, 15 was faster. Camera, again 15 was uh, faster. Uh, this again 15 was slightly faster. So you could see here, uh, both the devices did have a really fast performance, but uh, marginal difference you could see. Uh, in fact, uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and the Snapdragon 8 Elite, both are really powerful chip and both have really great hardware as well. So you don't see much of a difference other than the gaming because uh, you have the gaming optimized engine on the 15, while uh, the 13S also has the gaming enabled, but uh, 15 has a slightly upper hand on that. Now next let's see the memory management of these two devices. So let's open the apps in the reverse order. So as of now all the apps are available in the memory. So let's see if anything. Flipkart has been reloaded on 13 and here you can see Amazon has been reloaded on both the devices. Uh, here Spotify has been reloaded. Once again Chrome has been reloaded. Games are available on both the devices. In fact, Asphalt also has reloaded. This is quite uh, strange actually uh, because some of the apps uh, did reload on both the devices. But again, memory management was slightly better on uh, the 15. So that was the uh, memory management of these two devices. Next, let's see the network uh, speed of uh, these two devices. So we have connected both the devices to the same server. So let's start this. So you could see here not much of a difference in terms of network speed on these two devices. Next is the antitude score. So this is one area where uh, there will be obviously difference. Now there is one more uh, thing I need to tell you about uh, these two uh, devices that this is antitude version 11. So the scores will be slightly higher. We couldn't run the antitude version 11 on the 13S because it was kind of failing for some reason. It was not showing the actual values. So that's why we took uh, the version 10.5, the latest in the 10 series. So if it is 11, probably it would be around 27 lakh. 
like uh, somewhere 27 28 lakh but this is 35 lakh obviously this is way higher now you can see here how different uh, these scores are the gpu cpu performance all of them are different uh, and uh, obviously the snapdragon 8 le gen 5 uh, is uh, definitely higher in terms of synthetic benchmark compared to the snapdragon uh, uh, 8 uh, gen 5 or other snapdragon 8 elite uh, then now let's go to the storage test so you can see a storage test uh, even though this has 4.1 now uh, this is kind of slightly lower value we're not really sure but again uh, this is 11 versus 10.5 this has high value but again both of ufs 4x so you don't have to worry about that and finally geekbench test um, this will obviously have an impact uh, we'll show you the results so 2889 and 3523 is a single core so obviously you can see here 700 odd uh, values different and this is 10364 we have 8784 that's almost 600 values different uh, on these two devices so obviously in terms of benchmark uh, synthetic benchmark uh, the uh, oneplus um, 15 takes the lead here but if you look at uh, the overall experience there isn't much to differentiate between the snapdragon 8 elite uh, gen 5 and the snapdragon 8 elite in terms of overall opening of apps and performance so both are really powerful hardware but the differentiating aspect is probably in the camera on these two devices we have a triple camera setup and a proper telephoto lens uh, on the 15 while this is a kind of dual camera setup on the 13s so that is a comparison hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day